Hey there gang, we're doing a cut test today on this steel here. This is 5CR15MOV. This is in the Gerber Index. Uh, my testing whilst reviewing this knife, which was off the factory edge, uh, didn't really promise too much. However, I've still gone and put on a work sharp kitchen knife edge, 20 degrees per side. And it is very, sharp, very, very sharp at the moment. And it's um, going to be tested against this twisted sisal rope until the knife no longer slices paper. I'll be using the forward belly portion of the knife. Uh, to get this steel sharp required about three passes on the work sharp each side. And it is back like this, so it is a very easy steel to resharpen. Let's see how much of this rope it cuts before it no longer slices paper. You know, for a minute there, I thought this is going really, really well because it was really slicing the, the rope really, really well. It's actually not a terrible grind. Um, and I thought, wow, this is actually going to keep going. I tested it at 30. That was the first time I felt like oh, I should probably test this because usually you notice it dulling. Um, but no, it still felt all right at 30. I got to 35. Eh, all of a sudden, it was starting to feel a little bit shit got to 37 and no longer slices paper. So very much in the same league as the other Gerber uh, 7CR 17 MOV. So I don't know what you get for these extra bits of, these extra two bits of whatever and the, I don't know. I don't know how these Chinese steel names work, but um, yeah, so it's just a, it's like a 440A level um, steel. And it's, as I said in my review, a really crap choice for a EDC pocket knife, especially in this instance, Gerber kind of trying to get onto that flipper train to put a steel like this in it. And this isn't a super cheap knife, like this was $60 in Australia. Um, and it's about the same price as say like a, um, like a, a rake knife in 14C28N. So a little bit of a, a little bit of a shitty choice. So anyway, that's the Gerber um, 5CR15MOV steel, 37 cuts. Actually, let's make this a comparison video. So what I've got here is the Rake um, P831SF. I've put the same workshop edge on this knife. We're going to do the same rope test. Uh, this is another 20 degrees per side. Um, you know, it's not a hollow grind. It's, um, but I'm pretty sure they're about the same thinness behind the edge because this is a hollow grind uh, on, the, um, on the Gerber knife. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same rope cut test and we're gonna see how this one goes until the knife no longer slices paper, we're going to we're going to cut rope. This should be I'm thinking a little bit better than the 5CR. So there you go, like, this knife is more expensive, no sorry, this this knife is more expensive than this knife, um, this is a $50 rake knife, this is a $60 Gerber knife, both made in China, so there's no prestige here at all, um, and this one cuts for about twice as long, almost twice as long, um, did 70 cuts until it no longer sliced paper, lost its edge sometime between 65 and 70, this did 37 cuts, so you know, there's no, um, there's just no need for it anymore. There's, this is obviously a, just as price friendly steel as this 5CR13 stuff, uh, 5CR15 stuff. And um, in terms of pocket knives, you don't really use many of the other attributes apart from stainlessness and edge retention. Toughness, I don't know, unless you're, um, you know, after something beefier, uh, you know, I don't know the toughness, I've got no way of measuring it, um, but um, stain resistance, this is fine. I haven't tested this for stain resistance. They've coated it, which might indicate what it is, but I don't know. Um, yeah, there's just no excuse, Gerber. Like, just get a better steel. Even if you just had this steel in your Chinese line of knives, this mystery Gerber steel, this 50, 5CR, the 7CR stuff, 
It's um, way, way out of date. I would even go so far as to that the 8CR needs to go as well that everyone else is using, but that's just me and I'm sure plenty of other people are still happy with that still, but just in terms of what this is, it just goes to show how stupid this knife is. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed. I'll uh, see you in the next video. Bye.